Okay, welcome back. So in this video, again, we're going to be talking some more about polynomials. So one just quick thing I forgot to mention in the last video, uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter because we're going to be talking about it in this video, uh, is that, so again, for a polynomial, so again, just a fancy word for equation, I'm not going to write the whole thing out, so that could have x squared and x and a constant or whatever. Okay, so we said the polynomial was going to look something like this, if it has four. Okay. And sorry, that should be alright, but just that's the, that's the x-axis there, okay? So it's going to have four roots, or it's going to cross the x-axis at four different points, okay? Um, yeah, so, that, and so we know, so say we're going to look at these ones, that's going to be x is equal to 1, say this one here, that's going to be x is equal to 4, we'll say, that's going to be x equal to minus 2, and x is equal to minus 4. So I'm just picking these numbers out of the sky. They're not accurate. It's just a sketch. But it's just to kind of show you. So it hits the x-axis at 4 points. It has 4 roots. And that means it's also going to have 4 factors. Uh, so it's going to be x minus 1, x minus 4, x plus 2, and x plus 4. And that's because it's x to the power of 4. If it was x to the power of 5, it would have 5 roots and it would have 5 factors. Okay, So it all depends on the degree of the polynomial it's called. So what the highest power is, that's what, that's what the degree means, the highest power in the polynomial in the equation. So I know, uh, yeah, we're gonna go on then and do, and I, uh, we're gonna solve a cubic equation, okay? So cubic, remember, is x to the power of three. So we're gonna solve it. So whenever you have to solve an equation, you're trying to find the values where it hits the x-axis. So you're going to solve it for x. So find x is equal to what? And you should get uh, three answers for a cubic equation. Okay, So the one we're going to look at is going to be 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 17x plus 30 is equal to 0. Okay, So this is going to be our cubic equation. We have to solve this. So since they give us no tips, we have to go ahead with trial and error, which is the way you want to solve these. So it's not the nicest way, it's kind of a grim, brutal way, you just have to go through it. Uh, you just have to do it, okay? So I'll just show you what I mean by trial and error. So f of zero, f of one, that should be an f of minus one, equals two and equals two, okay? So f of zero, we're gonna have, we're gonna sub zero in, so normally you, you might see f of x written a lot of the, a lot of the time because that's what a function is. Okay, so we're going to put wherever there was an x in, we're going to put zero in, okay? So anytime there's x here, it's going to be zero, 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 etc. Okay, yeah? Minus 17 multiplied by zero plus 30. So this whole thing, so they're all going to go to zero because anything multiplied by zero is going to be zero. That plus 30 is going to stay as plus 30 and that's going to be equal to 30. And the most important thing here is that it's not equal to, so that's what that sign means, it means it's not equal to 0. So that means 0 is not a root. Okay, so 0 isn't a root of this equation. So this curve doesn't hit the x-axis at 0. So now we're going to do the same for these ones here. Just to just sub 1 in. So this is why it's called trial and error. You just have to keep going until you find an answer that ends up being zero, which means that that uh, number you picked is a root. So I'm not going to go through each one. I'm just going to say that this one here is not equal to zero. So I've worked it out beforehand, and it's one One is not a root, okay? And I'm just doing that to save time, because I don't want to work it all out. Minus three by minus one squared by minus 17 by minus one plus 30 is also not equal to zero. So the worst thing is you have to keep doing this until you find a number that is a root. So the, the good news is, it's not really good news, it's kind of the good news in light, like silver lining will say, is that it won't go above, so it'll keep going, but it won't go above f of 3 or f of minus 3. So always do 1 and minus 1, then 2 and minus 2, then 3 and minus 3. So I won't do all of them, just to save time in the video, uh, but I will tell you that it's f is equal to minus 3 is the answer. So it's 2 minus 3 cubed, minus 3 by minus 3 squared, minus 17 multiplied by minus 3 plus 30 is equal to 0. So that means that minus 3, so I'll actually do that in a different color, minus 3 is a root, and that means that x plus 3 is a factor. Okay, so that's our first step done. We have one root, and once you have one root and one factor, it makes the rest of it a lot easier. Okay, so the first thing to always get the first root if you're trying to solve a cubic equation is just by trial and error. Okay, so we are going to uh, use no, we're going to 
used green, blue. Have we used blue? No, no blue. Okay. Uh, so what we do now, if x plus 3 is a factor, we're going to have to div divide x plus 3 into our polynomial. So into our 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 17x plus 30. So if we use long division, what we get on the top here is going to be the two other factors of this. So we'll work through it. I'm actually not going to work through it because it's the exact same example as we did in our long division video, which was two or three videos ago. It was quite recent. So I'm just going to write the answer up here on top and squiggles here to show that there's the workings. Okay, I'm not going to go through it just to save time. So the squiggles, the, the answer on top is in the end is 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. Okay, so this thing here, uh, 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. So obviously this itself is a quadratic equation. So this will have two uh, factors as well, okay? So since this has two factors, and this is one of the factors, once we have this factor and these two factors, we'll have all three factors of this cubic equation, okay? And also, once we have the factors, we can find the roots as well. So because of the factor theorem, if you know that x plus 3 is a factor, x minus 3 is a root. So once we factorize this and get the roots, we will know the three roots, or the yeah, the three points where this curve hits the x-axis, which is what we were looking for at the end, we, at the start. We were trying to solve this, which is finding x is equal to this, x is equal to this, and x is equal to this, okay? So we'll just go ahead and solve this, and I'm going to use orange, okay? So we're going to draw our brackets, and uh, excuse me, that should be just an x, just an x, and this number here. So we have to think of numbers that when you multiply them, uh, you're going to get minus 9x, so I'm going to put minus 2 over here and plus 5. So that's because if you look at this, if you go 2x by minus 2 and 2x by x, so we're going to get 2x squared minus uh, 4x. Excuse me, that should be, uh, so let me correct this. That should be a minus. Uh, there we go, sorry about that minus, sorry. Uh, so 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared, and 2x by minus 2 is minus 4x, and minus 5 we're going to multiply by these two as well. We're going to get minus 5x and plus 10. So we're left with 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. Okay, so it's a little bit harder when you have a 2x here. You have to think about that, that it's not just x by minus 2, it's going to be 2x, but uh, it shouldn't be too much different. I'll just, let me just erase this here quickly. I'll erase these lines as much as I can without touching any reading the rest of it. Okay, that'll do. Um, okay, so as I was saying, so we have the two factors now of this, so we can also find the two roots. So that means either 2x minus 5 has to be equal to 0, or since, sorry, not even equal to 0, but since 2x minus 5 is a factor, we're going to use this little trick here to find out what the root is. The root is going to be x is equal to 5 over 2. And that's because if you move this 5 over to this side, it's going to be positive. So you add 5 to both sides, the 5 will pop up over here. And you divide both sides by 2. So you can put that in fraction or in decimal form. That's going to be 2.5 or 2.5, whichever one you want to do. And then the other root is going to be x is equal to 2. And I'm just going to write the first root in purple, I think, as we had it, was it? Yeah, the first root was in purple. X is equal to 3 as well. So there we have our cubic equation solved. We have our three roots, and hopefully that made sense. I'll go through it one more time just really quickly. So, ooh, there we go. So we have a cubic equation. They've asked us to solve the cubic equation. Okay, so that means we need to find the three roots, the three places where it hits the x-axis, okay? So the first thing you have to do is you have to do trial and error up to 3 or minus 3 until you find w one of the first roots, okay? So one of the first roots is always going to be between minus 3 and 3. Uh, so the first root is minus 3, and that means the factor is also x plus 3, and that's the factor thing that tells us that. Once you have that, you use long division to put your first factor into the whole polynomial. You'll get this quadratic on the top. 
once you factorize and solve the quadratic, you're going to have your three roots of your equation. Okay, I hope this helped. Thank you.